you are actually a Leo and your moon is an Aquarius, which is a player too, which means your mother, she either um, uh, treated you like a weirdo and said, you need to go to boot camp. You better not talk to black people. You better not talk to poor people. I am racist and you better be too. You know what I mean? Like, or like you cannot dress weird around me or any of my family. You can't dress weird. Or she was actually your friend. She's like, oh, I'm all for you. You're cool, man. Do what you want. Date who you want. Or she was the kind that was like egotistical man. She's like, no, you're we're gonna be traditional and stupid and like you can't have any friends or you can't look weird. You cannot be weird. You'll you'll either rebel and be the good friendly kind of person or you will end up being this uptight person. Even though Aquari Moon and Aquariuses are uptight, they rather be mentally stimulated than have sex kind of thing. But uh, your Mar, your your Mars is in Leo, so you do petty things when you get mad at people, and uh, you put all your willpower in to become a narcissist or get attention for whatever you need or whatever. And then it also means if someone hurts your pride or ego, that's when you're really mad. mad. And other than that, you don't really get like to get mad. That I know of. I don't know. That's probably fair. Your Venus is in Gemini, which means you like multiple partners, because but you, you treat every one of them the same. You're like, I want to be with you. You're only with me. But I'm with this other person. I'm going to be with this person. And be like, you're for, the only one for me. Don't worry about it. And then you move to somewhere else, and you're like, I'm with you, the only person. And then you kick everybody else out of your life. Like, after you get a sample of everyone, like a player. Venus and Gemini is a player, the liar. Make sense? <laughs> okay, your, your, your Saturn's in Scorpio, which means you might have a dead father, and you inherited government property from your dad or something. Or he was just, you know, whatever. And um, your, your Jupiter's in Aquarius, so you're lucky with astrology and being, for having friends and knowing things a lot, and knowing whatever. And, um social media your your Lilith is in Taurus this is the side of people that no one wants to see you act like like you will be petty with money you will steal people's money you'll act like they're stealing from you you'll act stubborn you'll act um you'll act like the horriblest part of Taurus Taurus is my favorite sign of all signs when you have Lilith and Taurus people are like uh no and they don't like it but you do it anyways and people arrogant like you become financially secure and that's how you got to get that, that done with the Taurus energy, but you rebel to get that Taurus energy with you or some shit, but they don't like you being it for some reason. <laughs> and also Taurus is your purpose, it's what you lack and stuff, you came here, blah, blah, blah. Um, cancer, your C-Russ is in Cancer, which means this is how you heal other people, this is what other people come to you for. They come to you to feel like they have a family and a mother, and they come to you because they feel like they're adopted by you because they feel like, you know, an orphan. But when you give your presence and your charm and whatever cancer-like abilities that you have to them, that's how they heal. That's how you, they come to you to heal them for that. And the way you have to heal yourself is see Krylon and Gemini, which is like communicating and stuff. And your Juno's in Libra. Your vis is in Scorpio, which means you don't like people knowing who you date. You you keep them secret. You keep them secret from the rest of your groups because you want something of your own, you know. And um, you don't care what whoever you don't care what other people think that you're going out with as long as it's secret, you know. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs>